Fora TV. The world is thinking. I think it's quite important that we don't confuse the idea of truth and the pursuit of truth with a debate about or between religion and science, because truth is really much more than that. And there are very good reasons why throughout human history people have passionately searched for the truth and tried to pursue the truth. It's also important to understand that truth cannot be reduced to facts or to bits of information, because truth and, and the idea of truth captures a dimension of human experience through the act of interpretation. Uh, it's more than just describing a particular event. It involves, above all, the experience of meaning. You know, what do we mean? You know, what is the meaning of, of particular dimensions of human life? That's really where our concerns about truth uh, really begin to uh, click in. And it's interesting that although people today still yearn for the truth, um, and in some sense, some people very one-sidedly pursue it, nevertheless, overall as a society, we have, we have become very skeptical about the truth. And time and time again, there's a sense of cynicism, uh, a kind of sense that this is really for very naive provincial people to be concerned about, not something that sophisticated London intellectuals would ever spend very much time discussing. And it's interesting also that precisely at a time when knowledge has expanded exponentially, the status of the truth has become downside and fairly systematically. And some people tell me that skepticism towards the truth is a very healthy, positive reaction to close-minded close dogmatism. Uh, and it, it's a really positive reaction because there are all these people looking for the truth who refuse to yield to new experience. They're very close-minded and will not consider any other ideas. Others tell me that truth with a capital C um, is impossible in a world like ours, which changes all the time. It's continually in flux. And, uh, and where ideas and truths lose their relevance very, very fast. And therefore, what we need is a more modest, provisional orientation towards the truth. And I know, I remember I was in Rome very recently, and I talked about the truth. And this guy gets up and says, Ferredi, you're the only person I know that believes in the truth, expecting the whole audience to laugh, that basically you would laugh. Uh, if you believed in the truth with a capital T. And it seems to me that there's a very good reason why it is that we are the way we are with truth at the moment. And I think it's got to do with the fact that our society has a very uneasy e easy relation to the truth because our society finds it very difficult to give experience meaning. I think one of the beautiful things about the truth, if you pursue it, is that it raises uncertainty in its most tangible way. It, it forces you to face uncertainty in its face. And I think all of us find that a little bit difficult to handle. And on a societal level, these days, uncertainty has become something that we try to abolish through risk management and a whole host of instruments that we've uh, developed, including subprime mortgages, uh, in, in, in the recent periods. Now, what I find that has happened is this. One of the most regrettable consequences of our difficulty in endowing human experience with meaning is that increasingly science is used uh, and has been hijacked to bypass the need to deal with it. It's a bit like the man from Del Monte. When the man from Del Monte says, you know, sort of, yes, you know, we put our hands up. Similarly, when science says, yes, it's got to be true. And that's the way these things are, are kind of uh, perceived. Uh, certainly as a as somebody devoted towards academic research, I've now come to the point where I shudder every time I open a newspaper and the article begins by saying, research shows, you know, sort of. Because literally every form of uh, petty belief can be validated by research shows. So last month, a study by Dr. John Alford from Rice University conclusively proved that right-wing Americans are likely to be far more nervous than their left-wing counterparts. Liberals in the audience would be delighted to discover that they are typically relaxed and chilled out. <laughs> and, and we know that this is true because this cutting-edge research interviewed as many as 46 people. <laughs> there was also good news for people of faith last month. Researchers at Oxford have discovered that belief in God works as a wonderful form of pain relief. On the basis of testing, listen to this, 12 Roman Catholics <laughs> and 12 atheists they concluded that believers can draw on their reservoir of spirituality to endure suffering with far greater fortitude than unimaginative atheists. 
And of course, this was no news to the Anglican Bishop of Durham, who observed that the practice of faith should, and in many cases, does alter the person you are. Uh, if you picked up the, a copy of Science early October, you will have discovered that religion also turns people into honest, generous, and trusting citizens. So there you have it. Now